Hi, I'm Erin Pennington, owner and operator of Cottage Designs by Erin on Etsy. In 2021, it's my goal to start my own YouTube channel showing you how to make some of the beautiful things that I sell in my online store. Wait a minute, you're thinking, why would you do that? Why are you telling people your secrets? Well, I feel like God has given me a gift and I feel like it's my job to share that gift with you. We can't make the same items, even if I give you the pattern, because we don't have the same materials. We don't have the same creative design ideas. And so it's okay. I can share with you and we can both benefit. So what I'd like to teach you today is how to make this beautiful present quilt behind me. This is a free pattern on Pinterest. It is in the public realm. There is no copyright infringement here. The pattern is by Moda. And if you go to Pinterest and you type in free present pattern, quilt pattern, it'll come up. So um, the original pattern looked like this. And you can see all the cute little presents. They all have their own design. But how I did mine differently is I did not set it together with these corner pieces. And I did not do a pieced edge. I was trying to save time and I still didn't get it done for Christmas. So it's okay. We'll have it ready for next year, right? So what I did is I made all my present boxes and then I sashed it together with three and a half inch wide red buffalo plaid gingham. I really like the festive look of this. It reminds me of that old fashioned hard candy that my grandma kept in a bowl in the living room at Christmas. And so this is a really fun pattern to make. I'm down to my very last block and I'm going to show you how to make the blocks. Okay. Now you might be a rotary cutter type person and that's your preferred method of cutting out pieces. If so, that's fine. You are going to need two three and a half by six and a half inch A pieces. Then you're going to need one middle piece for the presents, which is two and a half by six and a half. You will need two two and a half by two and a half inch background blocks of whatever color you prefer. I used white and you will need two two and a half inch blocks that have the same pattern print as what you're using on your present. Okay. Your D piece, which is the center is a two and a half by four and a half inch background piece. And then you're going to need some very long strips of two and a half um, inch rectangles. Now, why did I say very long strips? Rather than cut out a bunch of two and a half by eight and a half inch strips, I just cut two and a half inch strips the whole width of my fabric and cut it off as I used it. It makes it a lot easier than having to cut each and every single solitary piece. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and start piecing our presents. All of your fabric should be 100% cotton or at the very least a poly cotton. All of it needs to be washed. Trust me when I say this. Any kind of quilt that has red in it, the fabric should be washed first so that it doesn't run when you wash it later. I've had some very beautiful quilts ruined by my impatience. So learn from my mistakes and wash your fabric first. After your fabric has been washed and pressed, we're going to go ahead and we're going to piece the center block for the present. That means that we're going to take two A's and join them to one B. Now, I'm a template person. I know old habits die hard and it's kind of an old fashioned, outdated way to quilt, but that's how I learned and that's what I prefer. So that's what I stick with. I feel like when I rotary cut, I don't get the best accurate measurements. So all you're going to do is cut your A and cut your B and then we're going to sew it together like a jigsaw puzzle. I'm amazed that I love to quilt as much as I do because I hated jigsaw puzzles as a kid. Okay, so when you sew your A to your B, this is what you get. And you sew the pretty sides together. Do, 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 do. You go down the side, okay? And then when it's done, you press it open. I have pressed all my seams open so that it'll lay down nice and flat as I push it through the machine. Okay, so the part that you may not know if you're a new quilter is you may not know anything about half square triangles. I didn't. And so that's what I'm going to show you. So on your D piece, which is two and a half by four and a half, this little piece, you're going to put your fabric face down and you're going to pin it. We just pinned a two and a half inch square to our D piece. And I'm going to show you how you sew that. So let me move my camera over here. 
Okay, so I have my pen going the direction I want to sew it so that I don't forget because it's easy to do. And we're just going to sew from corner to corner. Now, when you unpin this, it's going to look like a real pretty little girl's bow. Okay, see how cute that is? Almost like a little ear. So then we're going to put our other piece face down. And we want to make sure when we fold it over that it's going the same, the same direction as the other fold because that is sometimes an error. Okay, so again, from corner to corner. And this is so much easier than cutting out hundreds of triangles and having to sew the triangles together. This is way faster. Okay, so now we have our pretty little bow that's going to match our centerpiece. So on the edge of each one of the each one of these D pieces that we now have sewn our little ears on, we are going to take a two and a half inch square and sew it to the outside edge, just like so. And I'm using a quarter inch seam, which is standard. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you hold your little ear down, put your two and a half inch piece on top, and go ahead and sew that. Okay, so we have the middle of our present and now we just completed the top of our present. So I'm going to put that face down and I'm going to sew straight across the top and then we flip it up, we'll have our little ears, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and get this going the right direction. I don't typically pin the top, but of course you can. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and sew our bottom of our block on now, which is just a two and a half inch strip, two and a half inch wide. I like to cut my strips two and a half inches wide by the width of the fabric, so I don't have to cut out individual little pieces, and it makes the piecing go much quicker, as I was saying earlier. We flip it over and cut, have it cut it even with our block. And now we have our cute little present. Okay, so from here, I'm going to sew the sides on and connect it to my other piece. I'll be right back with you. So in the few minutes that I was gone, I managed to go ahead and sew my very last block on, which is in the very far corner. And I sewed my row together. So let me show you the entire quilt is at this point sewn together. And so all I will have to do now is sew my red gingham sashing down the side. And this quilt bit will be completely ready to go to the quilter to be quilted. So I know it's kind of strange showing you how to make a quilt in 12 minutes on YouTube. If only life really worked like that, right? In all fairness, this is a very quick quilt to make, and if you really stay with it, you can. it could probably be a weekend project, and you could probably get it done in three days. So I hope that you enjoyed my very first video. If there's any little glitches or errors, I apologize, but I am new to this, and so it's a learning experience. Please follow me on YouTube, Cottage Designs by Erin. Also, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and, of course, Etsy. 
The name of my store is Cottage Designs by Erin, and I hope to see you real soon. Thank you. Bye.